as a sword connoisseur, the Bailey Silver and Ivory Hilted Cutto is the one I would most like to take home with me. It's got everything going for it. It's got a complete provenance. Washington is depicted during the Revolutionary War with the sword on his hip, and it's American made. It's a wonderful sword uh, that's the product of a cutler who was British born, trained in Sheffield, came to America, settled in New York, probably around the late 1760s or 1770, and he loved his new country. So as his countrymen were getting ready to invade New York City, he got out of town. He took his operation into the Hudson Valley, into the area where the Continental Army was retreating, and he set up shop to cater to Continental Army officers. And he was clearly the cutler of choice that Washington went with. We know he ordered this sword from him in late 1778 or early 1779. And Washington also favored him with some sword maintenance issues that came up during the Revolutionary War, and even minor business like hafting, table knives, and even replacing a lost pen knife. So Washington gave a lot of a lot of business to John Bailey, and it's it's just a magnificent sword. I mean, aesthetically, it's fantastic with this acid-stained, brilliant green ivory grip that's uh, carved with channels, wrapped with a silver band. It's got a fluted pommel cap, and I, I just think it's gorgeous. I get chills just thinking about it. In Charles Wilson Peel's 1779 canvas, where Washington is depicted in front of uh, a scene of the Battle of Princeton, fought two years earlier in January of 1777, we see Washington wearing this sword. The funny thing is, we know that Washington didn't have that sword yet because it didn't exist. Washington acquired the sword new late 1778 to early 1779 and was almost immediately painted or uh, portrayed wearing it. The sword at that point becomes indelibly linked to Washington and it's probably because of its appearance in this painting that it acquired the title of Washington's Battle Sword, because we see him in a battle scene in military uniform wearing this. It's also special because this is the first sword that left the Washington family in 1843. Samuel Washington, the younger, had the sword uh, presented to the American people through Congress. Both houses of Congress actually passed resolution accepting this sword on behalf of the American people. It almost immediately went on display at the U.S. Patent Office, and it was transferred to the Smithsonian Institution in the 20th century, but not before it went out on tour. It appeared in newspapers. The sword became a celebrity, which is almost certainly why Emanuel Leutze chose this particular sword to put on Washington's hip in his famous Washington Crossing the Delaware painting.